We want to get to our photojournalist, Paul Anderegg, in the 10 News Breaking News Tracker. And you can see they are pulling out the raft here, getting ready for a rescue. A car stuck on Camino del Este and Station Village in Mission Valley East. Paul, a driver unintentionally becoming an example of what not to do. Yeah, we're just here on uh, Camino del Este. We're, this is going to be between like uh, Mission Center and Qualcomm, where the river is. And the roads are obviously impassable here, but the barricades, which they do have uh, barricades, they were not in place. So, and you can see the lifeguards are arriving here to uh, begin preparing for this rescue. But yeah, those barricades that block these roads, they weren't in place. I don't know if they don't have enough people because uh, of the holiday and they're short staffed to get people to close these roads down. But uh, yeah, this, this was right, the gates were wide open when we got here. And you can see this poor guy out here stuck on his car. The lifeguard just told him not to move, just to stand by. They're getting their boats, uh, they're getting their boats ready so they can go out and uh, you know, obviously perform a rescue. This is one of many going on right here within, uh, within a mile or two. Um, there's another three people stuck uh, that were stuck on Mission Center Road. We just saw a Qualcomm Way. Uh, we didn't see any barricades, but we saw cars that were stopped. Some people were trying to figure out if they wanted to go through or not. So that would be a very dangerous situation out here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and, and Paul, it looks like they're getting ready now to move the raft over. I mean, the important thing to remember is not only the depth, but that water is moving pretty quickly. I mean, that will knock you off your feet if you try to go in there. Yeah, you can see them also using a lot of caution because they don't know what's, uh, you know, what's beneath there. They don't want to step in any, you know, unseen you know, holes here along the side of the road, and all of a sudden they've got, you know, twisted or broken leg, and they have to be rescued themselves. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I kind of want to see how this is, works out uh, because, again, it, you know, it looks simple, but this is definitely something that can be risky because the depth of the water, Paul, as you pointed out, you never know what's exactly under there, how deep it is, and the fact that the water is moving and, and you can get swept away. So it's good that the driver is staying put. These crews train for this. They are ready for this. They have certainly been ready with the forecast and the rain coming. It's the problem is when you start getting a lot of these rescues, they start getting stretched thin. So you really want to help them out by not trying to drive through flooded roads. Let's watch just a little bit longer here uh, as they get ready here to rescue that driver whose car obviously becoming inundated by the water there. This is in the Mission Valley area. As you know, it's a low-lying area, a floodplain by, by the river. So we do see this kind of flooding typically. Uh, it's just good to avoid if you can. Most people uh, observe that. Others think they might be able to make it, but it's so not worth it because that car is going to be ruined uh, as they wait here to get ready. So you see how careful they are too. There's no rushing. There's no just getting in the raft and going on over to the car. They are tethering themselves, making sure that everybody is going to be safe as they try to rescue the driver. So Paul, um, I know you've been driving around all morning. Um, you have seen a lot of issues out there. Is this one of the worst in terms of the ponding on the roads? Yeah. Yeah, the roads, the rain was very steady overnight. And you can see they're, they're going to do the rescue right now. But the rain was very, uh, was medium heavy pretty much all night. It didn't really let up. It's kind of like if someone just, uh, you know, you turn on your shower and you just let it go. That was what the rain was just like all night. There was none of this, uh, you know, there's some rain and then for a few minutes there's no rain and then, you know, rain comes back for 20 minutes. It was just, it's been constant, you know, nonstop. This is about the lightest I've seen it right now where you see there's not much rain in the, in the background, just light sprinkles. So uh, it, it, it's lightened up right now, but right around three o'clock to four o'clock, uh, that's when it started really getting pre pretty, pretty darn heavy. Yeah, and with all the rain that we saw over the weekend, Paul, you know, you've got a lot of saturation, so it doesn't take much. Um, thank goodness that it isn't raining heavily right now, which would only uh, get in the way and impede them in their efforts. Okay, you see the raft now heading straight for the car. Again, these are trained fast water rescue crews. This is what they do, and you see how much precaution they take with their heavy gear um, and their numbers. So you can see why it's important for us not to take this kind of moving water lightly.
Paul, did they have any details on, I know you mentioned that it didn't seem as though the barricades were visible uh, as far as kind of what's happening here and who this person is? Uh, he looks like someone that just uh, was just trying to drive through here and probably might have figured if the barricades are not down and maybe it's not uh, not too dangerous but obviously you can see that's not the way it uh, it's not the way it turned out for him and we we, we shot a uh, mission center road earlier in the night and that was that was closed down yet we were still hearing rescues going on so just because something is uh, you know, it's closed with barricades doesn't mean that's going to stop it or prevent someone. But in this case, when we showed up, those, those uh, you know, those barricades were, those uh, metal pole, poles that go across, the, completely across the road, were not there. They were, they were just completely open. So this guy might have not had any much of a warning of what was coming up ahead, other than just seeing that, that water. But he, he took a chance and it didn't work out for him. Right. Yeah, uh, and the question uh, is, uh, with regard to those barricades, do, was it possible that they got knocked over somehow or, or never made it up? It's not really clear, again, because the water is so deep. But it looks like another successful rescue. Uh, this fast water team doing a great job. Uh, unfortunately, you know, this is a situation that, that we see time and again when we get this kind of flooding, which isn't common here in San Diego, but this is something they expected with all the rain that we've been getting. The, the ground is saturated and so, and, and water levels are higher and this is something that can happen. So again, please do not drive uh, across flooded roadways because this is what can happen. I'm so glad that person is all right. Uh, we're gonna wrap this up, but we will continue to roll on this and uh, find out more details for you as we move forward. So flooded roads, you see, reports of rescues. We also want to get to ABC 10 News reporter Perla Shaheen, who's tracking other issues in that Mission Valley area. Perla, what are you seeing? That's right. Well, Paul mentioned those flooding in uh, Mission Center Road, and that's where we are right now. We're near Mission Valley Mall right now, and there were three separate people that drove into the flooded roadway behind me. There were two cars still in the water right now. Police have rescued one of them. Let me take a step aside so you can take a better look. There is those headlights in the background. That is one of the cars still stuck in the flood waters. We don't know the status of the drivers just yet, but we have been hearing ambulances around this area. There's one other rescue further down on Mission Gorge Road as well. As you can see, police have closed off this intersection of Mission Center and Friars Road. So if you were planning on stopping by here today, you should definitely turn around and go home. This is not the right time to be driving, especially through these flooded roadways. Live in Fashion Valley with photojournalist Chris Escobar, Perla Shaheen, ABC 10 News.